Hello, pipe lovers and others. Happy Piper here. Even the very first video of this year. I hope you enjoyed your holidays. Uh, I've had a peaceful and very nice Christmas and um, uh, I've been away for a week up north visiting my family, my sisters and my mother and their families. And today it's, uh, I think it's called the first day Christmas in English. Or Epiphany. It's the day when the three wise men came to visit Jesus. And uh, in uh, I think in all the Christian countries this is a holiday, so I'm just enjoying this spare time and relaxing, enjoying my pipe, and preparing a nice uh, dinner. Uh, I got some moose meat from my sister and their families, they are hunters. I used to be a moose hunter, but now when I moved south this is south for me. Actually, I came, come from a place almost 500 kilometers up north from here, so I consider this to be south. Smoking. My estate, Savinelli. This is actually the first estate pipe that I've restored. Uh, I bought it a couple of months ago and the stem was pretty oxidized and the finish of the pipe wasn't all good so I took a sandpaper, polished it, used vanish to deoxidize the stem and I think it ended up quite nice. In it, I'm smoking Peterson's Old Dublin. And um, uh, if you don't mind a little Latakia uh, and you haven't tried it, I really suggest that you do. It's a very nice tobacco, actually, one of my favorites. Uh, I wanted to make this video just to inform you uh, of my plans for this year. Uh, when it comes to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will show you my pipe collection. I have some new pipes, as you may have seen in my previous videos. I also have some estate pipes. This being one of them. And uh, uh, I think I will uh, try to make some tobacco reviews and share my experience of this wonderful hobby of pipe smoking. I am still um, very much a beginner, but I'm learning. And I think that's one of the uh, great things with this hobby, because you can learn something almost every day, or by every bowl. I will uh, do a video on Peterson pipes. I own three Peterson pipes. Uh, but I actually had issues with two of them. So I don't know if I just had bad luck or if Peterson are having some quality issues. But I will talk about this in a, in a coming video. It really is a great day for smoking outside. 
I was just about to say that it's no, almost no wind and right now it started to blow a little bit but anyway it's just minus two degrees celsius and uh, the air is fresh and yes it's uh, relatively not windy it's relatively still So, I'm sitting here by the lake, enjoying my pipe. And yes, I must say that Peterson Old Dublin is a really nice tobacco. Uh, they say that this is uh, similar to Dunhill's My Mixture 965. Which I can't confirm because I haven't tried that one. Uh, nowadays, uh, Dunhill's brands are made under the Peterson brand. But if uh, 965 is similar to Old Dublin, I Sure, I would like that one too. Uh, I think that um, if you are new to English brands, uh, you could try this one. But I think one of the best uh, blends brands to start with is uh, Samuel Gavitz, 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 that's a very difficult word, Samuel Gavitz, uh, squadron leader. And I think so because when I first tried that one, well it, it was my first Latakia blend, or Latakia containing blend. I thought it uh, tasted very much smoke or tar or what, or the Latakia, the very specific taste of Latakia. I smoked it a while and then I tried this old Dublin. And first I thought that uh, Squadron Leader had more Latakia in it but now when I have smoked this one and compared to squadron leader actually this one has more takia I think squadron leader is actually a very mild and balanced English blend and a very good tobacco latakia tobacco to start with if you haven't smoked the English blends but that's just my uh, my thoughts I also have a um, downhill standard mixture at home. There are a web shop in Sweden that still has downhill brands branded uh, um, standard mixture and even the Royal Yacht. Actually I have a, an open tin of Royal Yacht at home and I think I will open it in the near future and try that out. There are things in life that are easy, but one of those, those things aren't for sure tamping with one hand. That's also one of the things that new beginning pipe smokers struggle with, the tamping. I suggest that you look out uh, 
Martin Shop Pipers video on tamping. Uh, he has very instruction, instru instructive videos. And when I started to smoke the pipe, I almost used the tamping like a way of packing the pipe. That's that not at all how you should use it. You should light very lightly tamp the tobacco just to get the amber against the unburned tobacco. A very light compression. Being a former healthcare professional, health is something I'm very interested in. And I will make a little more detailed video about pipe smoking and health and the way I think about it. Try to give some advice uh, how you can make this hobby less harmful. Well, I think uh, this was all for today. I hope you have a nice evening, nice day, and wish you a good continuation of this year, 2020. And until next time, may your pipe smoke well and take care. <laughs>